Hey YouTube, how's everybody doing? My name is JC. I want to welcome you back to the Cuban Redneck DIY channel where we have another Tuesday off-topic video. I want to start by thanking those who have subscribed and if you haven't already done so, man, help me out. Hit that little button. So today's video is about a very popular dish out here in the South Florida area called Arroz Imperial or Imperial Rice. Uh, I've been told that uh, up in the Northeast, in the New Jersey uh, Union City Cuban community, it is referred to as a stuffed rice or arroz relleno. Uh, pretty much about the same thing, like everything in the kitchen, little variation here and there, but at the end of the day, it's pretty much the same dish. So uh, this is a dish that is very popular with uh, large families or get-togethers, parties, uh, for going to the beach with a bunch of people. It is awesome, it's very portable, easy to reheat, and uh, definitely delicious. So if this is of interest and you wanna be a hero on your next party, check this out. Hey guys, so if you're not familiar with this dish and you're looking at these ingredients, you're probably freaking out. But trust me when I said this is a really tasty, really savory dish and uh, you should give it a try. Anyhow, uh, here's what we're going to need. We're going to need some mayo, we're going to need some shredded cheese, uh, about a cup and a half of rice, some tomato paste. I got about 20 ounces of chicken uh, breast here that I had uh, marinated earlier, uh, seasoned earlier today to put on the grill. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it in the pan just to show you how it's done. Uh, we got some mixed veggie. We need some goya sazon with a safran uh, in order to uh, for our rice, as well as some pepper, onions, and garlic. Let me show you how to put this together. So with that said, we'll start the arroz imperial by making the rice. I am placing equal parts rice and water into a medium saucepan over high heat, along with a pinch of salt about a tablespoon of oil, and the Goya Sazon seasoning with azafrán. Once the rice comes to a boil, we'll lower the heat to medium and start searing our chicken over medium high heat. The objective here is to cook the chicken enough so that we can pull it, while being careful not to overcook it and get dry. On my stove, this is usually around three minutes per side. Once done, we'll place it on the cutting board and let it stand for about four to five minutes. We can then pull it like this using a fork. With that done, it is time to turn our focus back to the rice, which should be done by now. After fluffing it, preferably with a fork instead of the wooden spatula that I am using here, we'll add about a cup of mixed vegetables. Although in hindsight, I should have added a little bit more. Stir the veggies into the rice with a folding motion, turn the burner off and move the rice away from the heat. We can now focus on the chicken. Let's start by sauteing our pre-cut onions and peppers until they're soft, at which time we're going to add our chicken plus something I forgot to mention earlier, and that is eight ounces of tomato sauce. If you're wondering, pasta sauce will do, and equal parts of water. After the chicken is thoroughly covered, we'll add about a tablespoon of dry wine vinegar and a tablespoon of tomato paste. Once the liquids have reduced by half, we'll taste for seasoning. And if everything is good, turn off the burner and move the saucepan away from the heat. After letting both the rice and the chicken rest for about five minutes, we are ready to assemble the arroz imperial. Start by applying either butter or cooking spray to an oven safe dish. Our first layer is going to be approximately half of our rice. After compacting it a little, not too much, we'll apply a liberal layer of mayo.
then a layer of shredded cheese, followed by a layer of chicken, We'll follow that with another layer of cheese and then the rest of the rice. followed by top layer of mayo. Normally, I top my arroz imperial with chicken as well, but since I'm a little short, I'm going to fall back onto the original recipe, which calls for serrano ham. Not what I'm using, but to be honest, any type of ham will do. The same goes for the cheese. I'm using a mix, but Swiss is the ideal choice. Okay, all we need to do now is bake this for about 15 to 20 minutes at 375 degrees or until our top layer of cheese turns a beautiful golden brown. Hold up, I know that by now you're ready to dig into this but I strongly suggest you let it stand for 10 to 15 minutes and allow the cheese to firm up. And if the first one doesn't come out in one piece, don't worry, it rarely does. However, the rest should come out very nice and square. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you Arroz Imperial, a very popular Cuban dish in the South Florida area, but especially in Miami. My name is JC and this is the Cuban Redneck Kitchen. I hope to see you on my next video.